Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of the Shopify uh, e-commerce shopping system. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, Shopify provides a platform for you to open up your own online store. Uh, it is a hosted shopping cart system, meaning you don't need to go out and purchase any type of servers or build the platform. You don't need to go out and get an SSL certificate. Um, all of this is provided by the platform itself. Um, and so why don't we get started here today. Uh, Shopify has a variety of different plans you can start out with. The cheapest starting out at $29.99 a month plus 2% gross and that will allow you to run 100 different SKUs one gigabyte of storage, and it does provide uh, unlimited bandwidth. Um, Shopify is good for specific type of stores, and I'll get in that a little bit later. Um, and there's certain things that it's not good for, and we'll also talk about that. One of the things I do like about the system is integrated blog, meaning you can do inbound marketing and blogging right within the control panel. It has a very web 2.0 look and feel. Um, very easy to use administrative panel, so uh, making it really easy for you to add products, uh, add different uh, variations of your products, uh, do different orders and what have you. One of the things I don't like about it though um, is there is some functionality that is not included here natively that is included in some of the other shopping carts. Um, and it's not good for a lot uh, stores with lots of different categories and subcategories. And the best example of this is if you're running a, a, an a, a Apple cases store, for example, and you want to sell cases for iPhones, iPads, uh, Macs, and what have you, uh, and you want to have subcategories, so iPhone, four, uh, iPhone, and then underneath the subcategory of 4, 4S, 3, 3GS, for example, uh, it doesn't have that, and I'll show a little bit more on that. Um, you can add in that functionality, but of course you do have to pay for it. So why don't we take a, just a quick look at the different plans I have, which includes the pricing that they have. And then for the most part, it starts out at $29.99 a month, or actually $29 a month. Um, and all of them have free setup, unlimited bandwidth. Uh, as you go up in price, you have a few different things. You're allowed more SKUs, more storage, um, and the basic plan doesn't offer such things as discount coupon codes, which you may want. Um, if you are a military member, please let me know because if you sign up through my link, I'm able to give you upgrades. You just gotta let me know what your rank and uh, military membership was and uh, Shopify will let me upgrade you. So just gotta let me know. Um, but as you can see, there's a whole list of features you can go and check out and they have different stores and I actually have um, um, one site that is live this is not mine this is a, a client of mine actually and they created a product within Bagadu and so you can see what maybe a front page might look like um, what I'm going to do though is we're going to come over here to the administrative panel when you first log in and I just want to kind of show you how easy it is to actually um, create a store um, they have a whole tutorial that walks you through your store including adding products uh, the different design, contact, payment, uh, how to collect taxes and calculate taxes, uh, shipping, and your domain. So let's just go through it real quick and I'll show you product-wise how easy it is to start to enter a product. Um, adding a new product, literally click on that button, add your product title here. So uh, test product one, two, three. You can then add in various different uh, descriptions and headlines and bullet points and colors and so we can do different headlines here and these are just things that help the search engines find what you're looking for we can do bullet points of one two three um, we can change the color of this so it's red color a lot of different things you can do with that we then move over here to different properties um, product type you can create different products but we'll stay with pictures right now um, create a new vendor so this would be um, you know my test site t-shirt company and we can do different pricing as well as weights 
Um, and if you wanted to do, you could even provide, uh, this is what, let's say, a, a MSRP, a manufacturer suggested retail price, and you want to order it. So this might be $29.99, but you are offering it for $19.99. And don't worry about this right here, because it's just a test shop. It's in Canadian dollars, um, and it's in kilograms, but you can do uh, pounds, I believe, as well. So this will just be two kilograms. We want to charge taxes and require a shipping address um, and we can get into that a little bit later about digital goods um, and has different variants. So uh, so size small is the the default size and maybe we do uh, color as well and red will be the default color. Um, you can track stock level which is great or don't track stop level, especially if you're doing more of a, a drop shipping type store. And then allows you to add in different pack and tags, so t-shirt. And we'll get into uh, collections later on. And then one thing I did miss is you can actually upload a picture onto this. Right? Right, so I've completed this step. We'll do this on the front page as well and create product. Right, so we have a, a test product. You can see the pictures there. You can um, edit the alt text, which is just uh, not too well. We can hide this, right? So let's say we want to set up a product, but we're not ready to publish it to the store. We can do that. Very, very simple. One of, one of the good things or bad things about this system, as you notice, I'm doing different sizes, so we're going to do medium, red, and we can do different stock keeping units. We're creating the variant, right? What I don't like about their option system here is that you literally have to do different options, right? Versus some of the other systems will have. Uh, a stock option set that you can set up that all of them will have small, medium, large, red, white, and blue, so you don't have to do this for every single page, for every single product that you're setting up. That being said, uh, you can still copy, duplicate current product, and we're going to do this as test product 345. And again, you have the test product, same description, pictures, you can add these out as well. So one of the things I like about it, one of the things I don't. Um, themes, it allows you to choose different themes. Um, it automatically goes to, to minimal. And if you notice, you can change all the different parts, such as contact background, the headers, what color the text comes in, what color the link comes in, um, different fonts button colors, so you can change the color of buttons, um, page background, you can literally do um, how your blog looks like, what your footer looks like, usually you can add in such things as, um, you can actually add in your um, your logo as well, and so it's, it's it gives you a lot of functionality, and then there's a lot of different um, different themes you can you can try out. So right now it's on Radiant. We can find more themes if we want to. Some of them are paid, some of them are free, right? And you can see kind of what these look like. So if you're doing a cupcake factory, you know, Radiant's wood is free. Envy, this one's a paid one. But most of the free ones will do exactly what you need them to do. And then what's also really nice is some of them, um, like you can tell right here, uh, are automatically mobily optimized. In other words, you just have to add in a, a mobile theme, which is pretty darn easy as well. You just add that in. And if we come back here to this, you can add apps in, and we'll talk about a little bit more about that. Preferences such as general settings, regions, and taxes. So you can, if you have to collect tax in California or Hawaii or Illinois, check out and payment. This is how you set up your PayPal in here, or if you're able to take Visa or Google Checkout or any other type of custom payment methods. They, they represent about 50 different products, I believe. 
um, preferences, um, shipping. Allows you to set various different shipping for zone. You can do it weight based, price based. Um, depending on the upgraded plans from the higher ones, allow you to do real time shipping quotes, which is one of the things that's kind of offered already on some of the other shopping carts that on even their lowest plans. So it's one of the things I don't like about this. Um, email notifications, so you can change up your new order notifications and put in, you know. You can change this up to make it sound really, really nice and reflect your store. Uh, and then even down to um, domains. So you can actually add in your own www.myteststore1.com. You can do promotions in the higher level, so you can do discount codes. It's not a very sophisticated coupon codes. There's not a lot that you can do with it. Um, but at the same time, you know, you can take a percentage off for free shipping, um, which is getting a little bit better. Uh, there's a little bit more functionality in some of the other stores, but you then have your customers, you have your orders, and then it allows you to change around your various collections. So you have a front page collection where you can do, um, let's say you have a t-shirt collection or a coffee collection or an iPhone collection. Um, there's the blogs that you can go around in and navigation allows you to set up what your main menus will look like. And so, like I said, the system is pretty powerful. There is some functionality that you need to add into your apps. And some of these are free and some of these are paid, which can start adding up over time if you're not careful. Um, such things as uh, product upsells, uh, plug-in SEOs. One of the things I don't like about the system is it is not what I call SEO optimized. So SEO being search engine optimization down to the product level. It's only done at the system level. Whereas some of the other shopping carts will allow you to do uh, SEO description down to the product level. But again, that comes back to what this system is good for when it's not good for. So you connect in with uh, your your internet marketing, retail tower, I'll go out to all the various shopping comparison portals. Um, again, some of these are free, some of these are, are not so free. Wishpond, uh, Olark will allow you to chat with your customers, um, order fulfillment. I mean, it, it runs the gamut. They have a ton, a ton of applications that really build out the functionality of this, of this software. And then, uh, again, this store program works really really well for what I consider uh, single product or single brand so a good example here is this company Bagadoo Dog right they make one product which is this little carrier they have um, for carrying your doggy poopy bags and and other things and as you can see it's very simple updating it is really really simple um, has a really nice look and feel to it um, but it's not too complicated versus if you were to go to this is a coffee site that's hosted on the platform and what you notice is I could have coffee and tea and coffee makers but because they make it difficult to do uh, what I like to call nested menus or sub menus I can't do coffee and then it pop out here to uh, single origin coffee so Again, it might be very well a, a very proper program for you. It's just not for everybody, and that's why I, I want to make sure people are, are certain about it. If you're running a retail store uh, or starting out a retail store and you want to do online at the same time, they do have an app that will allow you to use this as a uh, point of sale checkout system, something to check out as well. And if you want more information, please go ahead and email me. Um, but other than that, take a look at it. Again, military members, if you decide you want to open up your own store, whether you are uh, active or inactive, please let me know. I will give you a link to sign up for, and when you do, just email me, and we'll give you a login. But any other questions, feel free to reach out to me, but hopefully this was useful for you.